Righto guys, welcome back to the channel. It's been a little while since I've put a video up. Um, I'm under the pump at the moment because we've just brought another project and I need to get this one now to a stage where I can um, put it to the side and get into this other project. But that, that'll be coming up a little bit later on. Uh, in my next video, I'll show you what our new project is. It's quite an expensive one and it's going to be intense. So what I'm up to today is the wiper motor, VT wiper motor into the HJ. I've read all the forums. I've tried to find videos, the whole box and dice, and I am more confused than what I was before I started. So my idea is I'm going to run through it. If it works, so be it. You guys can copy what I've done. Hopefully it's a, uh, a simple solution and I'll show you what I'm up to so far. So there's our two wiper motors. Anyway, I don't really need to explain to anybody the difference. HJ sits on the outside. The VT will sit down in there. Now I've seen a lot of people cut, cut all the plenium out so it sits in nice and neatly and they're having trouble with their wiper arms, the whole box and die. So what I've done straight up is I have taken the wiper arm off the HJ and I've fitted it to the VT. Now, I do need to notch it out just a little bit. It's only sitting there for now. But that there now gives me my exact length of what this one used to be. Which means, if I get this to sit exactly in the centre here, I've got to do bugger all to me wiper arms. So, I've made this bracket up. I'm not sure how thick that is. What's that? four mil or whatever um i'm not sure i've drilled the holes there they replicate the original hj so if i want to um bolt it in i'll bolt it in or i might even um weld it in not quite sure which way i'm going to go yet um this is the actual bracket that comes off the vt wiper arm so i'm now going to weld that just in here so I'll get into that, I'll weld it up, and then I'll show you what I'm up to. Okay guys, so she's all welded up now. Um, still rough form. She's nice and tight. Gives me plenty of room between there for the arm to spin around. Now I'll quickly assemble it and I'll show you what it's going to look like before I put it in. Okay guys, so there's my VT wiper motor using original section of the actual wiper arms from the VT and there's my bracket. So let's see how it fits. Now I'm pretty sure I need to trim that off the top to be able to get it to fit in but by trimming that's not going to hurt it anyway so it's only the earth I can put that to a different bolt. Righto, let me see. Righto guys, um... Fits in there nicely, gets in there nice and tight anyway. You can see where I've centered all those holes. That sits in there. That's pretty bloody close. And look at that. It's not even actually touching, but I'm going to trim that off to give me a bit of hand and finger room. We seem to have plenty of room right around everything. Now, like I said, that arm on the passenger side won't be a problem because there's nothing obstructing it. I'm pretty hard to get me bloody fingers in there. But on this side, the body of the motor is going to extract that one because of the angle. So that's the only arm I'm going to have to modify. So let me trim that down and um, see what I've got to do to that arm. Righto, guys. Anybody that's watched me work on a car, you know that I do things two, three, four times. And this is no exception. What I've done wrong is, I'll turn this camera, is I marked my center line straight the way through to the dead smack center of the VT bolts, the holding bolts. Now, what I didn't realize is those holding bolts if you look down that way, you can see I'm slightly off center. Not by much. Not by much at all. But what that'll end up doing is the arms, one arm on the 
will be too short and one arm will be too long. So typical grumpy style, I'll cut that off and I'll get that centre. Anyway, I'm glad I enjoy doing this sort of shit for you guys. Back to it. Well, to do things once, twice, three times, I do them four times. I'll show you what I've done. I've fucked up. I've welded it. I've got a dead smack centre this time. You can see that that's slightly offset, so I'll trim down this area. But I've welded it back to front. Time for a smoke, coffee, relax, regroup, get back into it before I get angry. <laughs>